This is lesson number seven in a series of finger independence exercises for your fretting hand. These are all in the key of G major and should be played either finger style or with hybrid picking. The exercises in this lesson all feature the upper and lower voices in parallel motion. If you'd like to take a closer look at these exercises, you can download them for free from my website. I'll leave a link in the description. We're starting on page 11 of the finger independence PDF. This is exercise 41. We begin with low G third finger and open second string B, then open and one, fingers two and four, next measure, fingers three and open, back to two and four, back to open and one, and it ends with low G and the open B. Exercise 41. Exercise 42 begins with the low G and an open B again. Finger three on the low G and an open B. Finger one in the bass on the low F sharp and finger two on the A. Then both voices open. Back to finger one and two. Three and open. Open and one. And then ending with the low G and the open B again. Number 42. Number 43 at the top of page 12, we're moving in thirds. We begin with a G and a B open on the second third string. Then fingers one and two. Slide fingers one and two over. And for the C and E, use fingers three and four. Back to fingers one and two. Slide one and two over. And end on the open second and third string. Exercise 43. Exercise 44 has the same notes as exercise 43. The difference is at the beginning of the second measure, we're going to play our C and E differently. Open second and third string, just like before. Fingers one and two. Slide one and two over. This time, we're going to slide finger one back and then play one and open. Slide finger one back to the third fret. We're gonna play fingers one and two. Slide fingers one and two, and then end on the open second and third strings. Number 44. Number 45, it's similar to numbers 43 and 44. We're moving in the thirds. We're just gonna take it up a little further. We have two open strings to begin with, just as before. Fingers one and two. Slide fingers one and two over. Fingers three and four. Now we're going to slide three fingers three and four over. And then slide them back. Fingers one and two. Slide fingers one and two. And then at the end we have two open strings again. Strings two and three. Exercise 45. Exercise 46, same notes as exercise 45, we're going to use a different fingering this time. Open second and third string, fingers one and two, slide fingers one and two over. This time we're gonna slide finger one back and play one and open on the first and second strings. Then at the beginning of the second measure, you can either play fingers one and two or fingers two and three. It's your choice. Back to finger one and open. Slide your first finger back to the third fret. Play fingers one and two. Slide fingers one and two over. 
and then open second and third string to end. Exercise 46. In the last three exercises of this section, numbers 47, 48, and 49, you're going to be playing in octaves. Let's look at number 47 first. We have a low G and a third string G. Low G with third finger. Play this next octave with open string on your bass and second finger in the upper voice. Then finger one and open. Back to finger two and open. Second measure is the same as the first measure. And end with those octave Gs, low G third finger and an open third string. Number 47. Number 48, we're moving in octaves again. This time we're moving up the five note scale and back down. Octave Gs to start with, low G with third finger and then an open third string. Then open and two, two and open. Fingers one and three, open and four. Back to fingers one and three, two and open, open and two. And then low, or excuse me, octave Gs at the end, low G, third finger, and then open third string. Exercise 48. And finally, number 49, we're going to be playing in octaves all the way up a G major scale and back down. Octave G's at the beginning, third finger on the low G, open third string for your upper G. Then open in two, two and open. Fingers one and three, open in four, open in two. Fingers one and three on these F sharps. And for these octave G's here, you could either play open and first finger or open and second finger, your choice. Back to fingers one and three for the F sharps. Two and open for the E's. Open and four for the D's. One and three for the C's. Two and open for the B's. Open and two for the A's. And then third finger and open for the G's. Number 49. Remember, you can download these exercises and a bunch of other stuff for free from my website. Click the link in the description and scroll down until you find the Finger Independence PDF. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.